I would have been so embarrassed. <gasps> That's Raccoon City. That narrows down our fucking options. Oh my god. That narrows it down, guys. Oh, it's Nemi. It's Nemi. It's Nemi. It's Nemi. Hey! <laughs> oh, 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 oh! They put new survivors, Jill and Leon. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Now I sound like a Dead by Daylight streamer. I was so nervous that it was just gonna be Leon, but I'm so glad it's Jill and Thank Leon. You for joining us today for My two favorites. Celebration. So we are proud and happy to finally be able to reveal the content of the Resident Evil chapter and be part of the 25th anniversary of Resident Evil. Yes. As you may know, the team's been hard at work on the graphic yes. rework over the last year, and that's why we couldn't add any new map to the game. That's going to change with the Resident Evil chapter. Yeah. So on the chapter release, Raccoon City. you'll be able to visit the Raccoon City Police Department. Let's see it. What the hell is that? Oh wow, look at the freaking the little statue. It's all fleshy. Yuck. Oh, there's the freaking uh down chopper. You know what it looked like too, chat room? It looked like the RE engine models. It didn't look like new models at all. They they looked like they were, like, ripped from those games. They didn't look, like, all new. I wonder if they're gonna give other outfits, too. Like, I wonder if Leon's gonna have the RE4 outfit. Oh my god, I just realized that this is a game that has Heather Mason and Jill Valentine in it. Wow. Two of my favorite survival horror characters. That's kind of cool. That looks like uh, Chief Irons' original office. Looks more like the original office. It's horror Smash Bros. Yeah, basically. But yes, it's Susie, the Dead by Daylight streamer, talking. It looks like it's the whole RPD. Instead of just like one. Oh, is that the star's office? Oh, they moved that door. Or they added a door. They totally added a door there to get to the west office. Easier. Like this door is not here. It's not supposed to be there. Wild. They are showing a lot of this map. Show Nemi. I want to see Nemi. So first of all, I have to say that the map is absolutely gorgeous. The team's put great effort to recreate the map from the remake of Resident Evil 2 and 3. So you'll see some iconic locations, such as the main hall, the archive, the star's office, and others in there. It's truly amazing. Like, if you played the remake, you can actually navigate around the map and recognize it perfectly. God, I love when uh, other course, companies also going to be a twist in love Resident Maybe Evil. Doing its own like, <laughs> of it. all right, let's talk about characters now. And they like there faithfully recreate something. Characters in the Resident Evil franchise. Uh, it's very difficult to choose. I'm happy. One survivor. These two. That's why you're getting two for this chapter. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Jill Valentine, the brilliant stars agent. Her unique perk 
will highlight her intensive training and her eye adaptability in impossible situations. Oh my god, look at Jill. <laughs> oh, that's weird. That's weird. You could go into the art room from another door. Through another door. Like, what? It, uh, but by the way, chat room, why the, why the hell? And I want a serious answer. Why the hell does this game look about a million times better than Reverse? Like, why? <laughs> the second survivor is Leon S. Kennedy. Leon's been having the worst first day at work ever and it's not going to be better in the realm of the entity. His unique perk are gonna highlight his dedication to other, his resilience, and his goal-driven personality. There's also something really special about one of his perk. It will add a new type of gameplay to Dead by Daylight. With this perk, and under a certain condition, you will be able to spawn a unique item, a flashbang, inside the match. So that's an item you don't need to equip in your loadout before the match. It's something that you will create within the match you're in. Ah. Look at Leon. Oh my. <laughs> oh, look at, there's Nemi. Look at him go. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that's like just the RE engine model of Leon. It's just kind of like warped a little bit to work around the their animation set, if that makes sense. Okay, let's talk about the killer now. So again, yes. there's a lot of different monsters that we could have used out of the Resident Evil franchise. But we chose the classic tyrant, the Nemesis. The Nemesis power is called T-Virus. With his special tentacle attack, the nemesis is able to infect survivors. Infected survivors uh, are going to be sick. They will cough, they will vomit, so they're going to be easier to spot. Oh my god, I'm having resistance flashbacks right the now. next tentacle attack, which will not infect them, but will damage them instead. For each infected survivor, the nemesis power grows, and his tentacle gain more reach. So he'll be able to attack over pallets, over vaults, and in some tricky places on the maps. But there's a way to get out of this infection for survivors. There are some vaccines around the map that can be used to get out of this infection. But there is a limited quantity, so make sure that you absolutely need it before taking it. The Nemesis unique perks will make you feel like an unstoppable hunter that can use both brains and brawn to cause panic amongst the survivor ranks. Sounds very fun. On top of that, Sounds fun. for the first time ever, this killer is assisted by AI characters. What? So we are by zombies? Zombies to the map oh. when you are facing the nemesis. Wow. Zombies are patrolling the area, and survivors need to be careful of both nemesis and them so that they don't get bitten and infected by the zombies. I can imagine fans are going to be so upset. <laughs> It is very weird seeing, like, Jill and Leon, like, just running away, you know? Oh my god, first person Nemi. This looks so cool, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I've never played Dead by Daylight either, but like, it, this is getting me more interested in it for obvious reasons. I wanna see the star's office. Oh, look at the zombies.
<laughs> it's Misty! They put Misty in the game! They put Misty in the game! Look at Misty! <laughs> I knew Misty was gonna be in this fucking collab. If you guys don't know who Misty is, she's my best friend, so... That's it. That's the content of the Resident Evil chapter. So I hope that you are as excited as we are to see the Resident Evil content inside Dead by Daylight. I sure am. I mean, this has been a dream come true. I played these games so much, I still have the <gasps> original copy of Resident Evil 2 from my oh, teens. For fucking N64 so version? experience this chapter in the PTB, which will be right after this event. And it will also come out June 15th. So mark your calendar. So I just want to oh, finish sweet. by saying thank you to all of our community for staying around with us and having fun with us. And I wish you an happy fifth anniversary. So they faithfully recreated the RPD in like pretty good detail, right? They... We have Jill and Leon, the two hi like like they are they are the high the, well, the so highlights of you, the Justine, fan community. Today, like about this part of the on the like they are the they are the two most popular characters in the series so on every fucking poll. You know? We're also going to talk about the and that guy pulls out a freaking N sixty four copy of RE2 in box. It's like of Dead by Daylight, and all the that they're they're fans. They're actually fans.